What up, it's your boy King Down 225 coming at you with another action air video. So hit that like and subscribe, become part of the kingdom. Sad situation, it is. But you I want y'all to read this title. You know, and this is just this is just how toxic this world is. How they title and phrase this shit. Debbie Father refused to answer. The daughter's call because her mother is dating other men. <sighs> Bro, I have recently went on a sort of rant on my Facebook page when it came to child support, the child support system in this toxic situation that they, that black men find themselves in. Not just black men, but men in general. And the way they fucking title in this and word in this lets you know what side they on and how the, it proves that the world don't give a fuck about the fathers. In fact, the world don't give a fuck about the children. Because if they cared about the children, I said in my rant, they'll care more about the time the father spent with the child as opposed to how much money the doctor the daddy sins. Like then, it just ironically, this lady got a New Orleans accent. You know. So, and again, I'm from Louisiana. But I was just arguing this. Like, the position of a father who having to deal with a toxic baby mama. Who got them on child support? The child support court don't give a fuck. The sick mama saying to the child and corrupting. No. She just, all her acting, she talking about he better and shit. Listen, who's son? Just listen. Like, don't no judges take none of this into account. They just, well. You know, since we in such a patriarchal system, that's why I say black people, black, especially black men, don't what the fuck is patriarchal system you talking about? Because I'm fucking oppressed wherever I go. The black women got more power in our community because white men empower them than we do. And they empower them to destroy our motherfucking in our community. And then y'all fucking phrase it as he a deadbeat. Man, I was so mad, bro. Because I'm calling. You know, I was in the rears. I was angry. I'm, I'm like, I'm on child support for a child. I, I she don't put me on child support out of bitterness. They're like, why can't you? You gotta tell me to take care of my motherfucking kids. I was giving her money before. But the second I ain't wanna deal with her ass no more, it's always, it's always. I got a parent on eggshell. Anytime I don't do what she want to do, I'm going to go put you on child support. Like, facts. I'm going to go put you on child I'm like, man, I got so bad. I say, bitch, go do it. She, she did it so she had the ability to throw my ass in jail. I got behind because, fuck, I went through a financial world patch. But the judge, they don't see that. All us deadbeats. All us, all us don't spend time with our kids. The context. Like, nigga, I ain't never had to put no gun in my head and send my daughter, my kids, no money. But when I hit a rough patch, they ain't give a fuck about no rough patch. I was so good at paying my shit. Anybody on child support knows the facts. If they take too much money out your check, because I'm like, gone shit. Man, just take check. I don't even want to see it. Just take it. Just, just gonna get it. You know when they take too much money out your check, what they do, they send it to your back instead of instead of holding that money just in case rough times do come. Nah, because that's too much like that's really think about the kids' future. Nah, cause they won't collect their little percentage every month, every month out of your check. So if you build up some extra less court it's gonna receive. So they send you, uh, and they charge you a, a transaction fee to send you the over, over back. They send you over back, and then, like, I did a long rant. I'm like, what the fuck that? If I'm such a deadbeat dad, that 
she got pregnant by another nigga and put that baby in my name. And I help her raise that baby for you. If I'm such a deadbeat, I'm such a piece of shit. And if I'm such a deadbeat, how she got three other baby daddies? But I'm the only nigga she got on child support. And a nigga who abandoned his child who I helped raise for a year. She ain't put that nigga on child support. She gave him joint custody. And the last nigga, she, she ain't, she ain't bothered even fine because she let a nigga one night stand her and get up pregnant. So, why is that in the context? Why the fact that I'm giving you documentation that I was giving this the same amount? But nah, she let, then when I went through my little financial hit, and I wasn't able to do what I would before. Then that's when her toxic mouth started. Young daddy, this to the fact like, me and my daughter have been estranged since she was 18. I miss her graduation because she ain't invited me. That shit hurt my feelings. I cried so hard. Like, me and me don't cry. I cried so fucking hard. Like, because I love my daughter so much. I put up with they goddamn mother. With this girl that called child protection. I'm a father raising girl. She called child protection agency on me because I, I I spanked my daughter. Well, my daughter was about to get hit by a car. I, I told her numerous times about paying attention. I, as a father, have a right to discipline her. No, she ran her down to the hospital as if I put bruises on her. Now she came with the bruises already, daddy. I was raising as if I'm, I'm like, I spanked this girl twice her whole life. And now you run to them for like, I'm um, sending a CPS. Them people could took my motherfucking kid, my daughter, when I was raising. But they seen I was I was raising a healthy child in a, in a nice, clean home. These are facts. I never said nothing negative. Toward my baby mama to my daughter ever. But her negative energy toward me and my daughter stayed with her, spilled over. I mean, my, my oldest told me, well, just number two feel like you don't love. Left out. I'm like, that ain't got shit to do with me. That's all her mama. And her, and her inability self, to the point, I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was like, man, I'd rather just wash my hands of my child, so I ain't gotta deal with this toxic bitch no more, cause she too much, bro, people didn't get how much I was in the way, bro, like, she mad cause I ain't wanna be with her, she was mad cause I fucking fell in love with somebody else, but man, I could, me and her broke up because I couldn't trust your old cheating ass. Point blank, period. And I'm telling, I'm type of nigga like I didn't, I got three baby mamas and an ex-wife. But I was raised like if you if you get a chick pregnant, every one of them I proposed marriage to. We was even engaged. If you first one didn't want to be a parent, didn't want to fucking do this. So I I do what I gotta do. The third one, the second one, I met her at a time of her life where she had low self-esteem, and I kind of built her up. I ain't patting my own chin on the back. She was, she was ugly. I'm like, nah, bro, you beautiful. You smarter than you think. That built her confidence up. So when the other niggas start, you know, She like, I ain't never had this much attention from men before. So I'm like, you know, you should, I, I can't, hey, you want to go show your motherfucking wild oats? Because this is, I was 21, she 19. Go show your wild oats. I'm not going to go around. So, because I decided, like, man, I can't trust you. Like, this deeper story. Like, man, at one point, with <laughs> this, I, this, this, I had to leave. Like, I'm working with a nigga who, uh, who was also the third old that we worked at. Nigga, my cousin, who was with my baby mom before we was even 
you know, in a relationship. Like, so they might with friends, like best of friends. And her, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get her. And then she fuck with me. And my cousin's boyfriend, I start working with him. So I imagine working there constantly say to you, say, King, you going to be mad if I fuck your girl, bro? You be mad if I fuck your girl? You be mad if I fuck your girl? And he on that goofy, you know that nigga being serious. So I'm like, Man, I don't, we all used to hang together. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't want to hang with them motherfuckers no more. I ain't playing. I don't like that nigga. I ain't this. I'm going to job. Like, nigga, like, why ain't he knock his ass off? Like, it, it's, it's weird being in that position. Like, yeah, you want to defend your girl, but you don't want this bitch. You feel me? Like, if she'd have been a solid, like, and this just meant one of the many things. Like, I know you fucked Junior. I know you did. But you'll never, I'm, I'm not, I'm staying around, I can't be around no motherfucker I can't trust. I ain't really on no chick I was in a relationship with ever in my entire life. But I'm not going to take no disrespect or no cheating. I ain't no sep ass nigga. No nigga going to be, you fucking, that's really Many other cases. I'm going to tell you about the nigga I walked up in the room, found her with. You got pregnant by this other nigga I warned you about before we really ended it. Oh, it's just me. Okay. Okay. So that's the one who allow her emotions to corrupt and affect my second child. And I can see it here in this video. But this is a very important, very, very important video. So I'm going to it as it is. You know, I hope y'all see it. Cause I said I was gonna go live about my child support tales and my stories of being a single father in this society. I said I was gonna drop my shit. Five, cause that was part of the rent. And my driver's license was spinning. I ain't gonna lie. I'm having a hard time. Like, that's a that's part of the, another main reason why I started this, this this channel. Because like men need to talk about their mental health. Like I went through depression first. I lost my job. Soon after, I lost my wife. Soon, the child I was raising became a teenage parent. That shit didn't need to, like, depress it. It's the most depressive age. And then, fuck it, the thing about black men, like, we refuse to accept the depression. I acknowledge it. We know we depressed, but, like, we do it, huh? We like, like, man, I'm like, bro, I'm I, I'm I, I'm I, I'm I, I'm I, I'm I, but like, emotionally dealing with that, just the first the the the, the loss of your income, then the loss of your marriage, your family getting torn apart, then like, find out, you know, the teenage pregnancy that that you know that the life that your child don't have to give up the things that she gonna have to give up, she gonna have to leave from this place. like that shit fuck with me of course sis didn't give a fuck my history of paying on time every month for 10 years before this point didn't mean matter to them i am a piece of shit and then while i was paying like i i, I didn't have any control or power to be a parent the court system didn't give a fuck about that. That's why I got so upset to wash my hands of this shit. Because they didn't give a fuck. I'm like, yeah, I'm paying, but she not letting me see my kid. Anytime she get mad, she keep my kid. She sending CPS over here. She telling my kid lies. She corrupting people about me. Like, y'all don't give a fuck about that, right? I ain't allowed to say nothing. 
All this is a detriment to my child. Y'all don't give a fuck about my kid. But let's just get to the video of shit that I know. I tell you, my perception comes from experience, observation, and conversation. I'm reading, you know, I don't look at the internet or read no book. This is shit that I know. I know bitch is toxic. And listen, it's toxic. This shit coming from her mama. Like, respect to my ex, bro. She, ain't, she would never do this to me. She would never, 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 never say this to my children, my daughter. Never. She, you, have you, that is your father. You have your own relationship with her. I'm not going to corrupt it. I'm not going to infect it. I'm not going to say, let my emotions, if I got something to say to him, I'm going to say it to him directly. I'm not going to fucking tell you. Or talk to you. Or talk in front of you. I'm going to tell that nigga what I got to say to him. Now go your ass in the next room. Let me say. See, that's adult shit. These immature ass women. With these fabrications. Then they build these imaginary tales in their mind. About how shit really went. No, how shit really went was you a fucking cheater. I could trust you. Ask me a question. This, I swear to God, if people think I'm lying, we was all cool until she asked me one question. She asked me, out of all of, all of you ever been with, was I the one you loved the most? And I was stupid enough to be honest and say no. After that, bro, that lady turned so bitter, it ain't funny, bro. It ain't funny. We was like children. We was cool till I told her the truth. Just know what I know. Just what I know. Women have a better responsibility than try to. That's why when she hit the end of the video, bitches. Let's get to the video. I hope I don't know this lady since she from New Orleans. You might be connected to something. I ain't trying to offend you. But you a lady. I don't give a fuck what her daddy doing. You don't have no right to try to win your children on your side. You just need to do what you need to do. Keep your motherfucking mouth shut. If he ain't shit, they gonna figure out he ain't shit. You don't need to help. This is horrible. This is sad. I have to deal with this with him. I have to deal with this with him. Call him. Call him. He block. I, I haven't been with this man for three years. This is more emotional. He got your number blocked because he don't want to deal with your shit. Three years. But clearly his daughter number is not blocked because it's ringing. Making my child suffer because I, I have moved on with my life. I, I don't want to be with you anymore. So wh why are you mad? You're making my child suffer. Not answering the phone for us. It could be an emergency. This is horrible. He has missed out on so, so much of my child life. And this is what I go through. This is her calling her dad. This is my child. She's suffering. She is suffering because what he's putting her through. This is crazy. I don't want to be with you. Listen what she's doing. We got a term in the hood called putting in on 20. That's what she's doing. She's extra with it. My child is suffering. See, you putting that shit in the I'm going to tell you another thing about psychological psychology you know i went to the cosmetology school people don't know that they even teach you about psychology small bits and pieces they always say you're relaxing people head to never ask them if it's burning why don't you ask somebody if the head burning because mentally they're gonna start thinking oh maybe my ass burning oh it's burning it's burning right there is no need to ask somebody if their head is burning. Why? Because if it's burning, they're going to fucking tell you. Then you're putting that shit, shit in the head. You get it? I hope you got it. So why are you doing all this? And this you're putting that shit in the head, bro. you you, you infecting the head. Bro. Your opinions and your emotions. Like you're an adult. You're a parent. I have never... Ever, ever. Now, I ain't told the truth. Now they grown. I told the truth. Hey, your mama wasn't shit. Did what she did. Like, what you? 
I stood ten toes down as a man and didn't say nothing negative. In fact, I defended him. Weird. You'll be surprised how much I defend and back my baby mom. Like, man, that's your mama. I don't know. Don't you disrespect her. You better do it. Like, even my first one. Like, man, you got a bigger problem with your mama than I do. I kind of respect her more, you know. I don't like her like she made you feel, but your issues are your issues. That's that's adult shit. But women, I'm your mama your daddy. With you. You, why? Why? All the times you, all the things you, and I move this, and I'm, I'm the bad person. He calls me the bad person. Nah, you don't think I'm doing nothing. I think I'm doing something wrong. You, you're not doing anything. See, that's the only part that fuck with me. What she the little girl said. See, motherfuckers, and I ain't about you, it's about your kid. That shit part broke my heart. But this whole video, like, she thinks she doing something wrong. That's how my daughter felt. Like, my dad don't love me. And she ain't never told me this directly. This is some hearsay. Like, well, I'm, I'm just like, damn, I ain't never... <sighs> Maybe I did something wrong. That's how I feel. I take it. Ain't nobody got to tell me to take responsibility. I have my own feelings. Like, if my child feel like that, I definitely did something wrong. I didn't fight enough. Like, I let... Men tend to let shit go when it comes to their baby mamas. Okay? Maybe I should have got you out of that house. Maybe I should have took you out of that toxic environment. Maybe I should have... Like, of course, there's one on that happen though. Like, you imagine having a kid and you never carried on all your taxes. <laughs> and that kid, 22 now. Never carried on your taxes. Pay child support. Love the told her how beautiful she is. All the time she's around, and still in her mind, it wasn't enough. Although the grandparent of the mother of that child has carried out all the taxes. I could have complained about it, but I ain't, no. So men let shit let go because it's in the best interest of the child to let them stay with the mother. It's in the best interest of the child. It's in the best interest of the child. That's how men think. Women don't think like that. I'm in my thirties. <laughs> but that baby said, maybe I did something wrong. Mama, this should have been the end of the video. You should be apologizing for being trash. All the things you put me through, and I moved on with my life, and I'm I'm the bad person. He called me the bad person. Nah, you don't think I'm doing anything? I think I'm doing something wrong. You, you're not doing do. anything wrong. You're not, you're not doing, doing anything, anything wrong. wrong. Your daddy is a no life, no nothing, nobody. I mean, years. I'm 15 in high school. See, she could admit it. Baby, you ain't did nothing wrong. You beautiful. I love you. This just. This is just a, a moment in time. You're going to get past it. No, he went from, you ain't did nothing wrong. Your daddy ain't shit. Like, you have a responsibility. Like, y'all don't think this fucked up, bro? Like, this is some ultra toxic fucking shit, bro. And this is the shit that the baby daddies be talking about. This is the kind of shit that make you want to just abandon your family and go start another one in the fucking Philippines. No, Fifteen right. in high school. Coach, keep calling him. Keep calling. This is the third time that we've called. Sad. Sickening. Pathetic. I'm going to stop stopping. Oh. Dad? Hey, Dad. How you been? Hey. Hey, how you, how you doing? David, how you doing? Don't sound like a nigga waking up. That maybe that's why he ain't answer the phone. Good. Good. I, I miss you, Dad. Uh, I miss you too. Oh, I love you. Um, I have been meaning to call you. Um, like me. <laughs> see, see, she came, she came up, let him talk to her daughter. She gotta put her two cents in. See, I keep stopping because I'm real emotional, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm showing my emotions on my sleeve right now. 
because of the shit I done been through. I literally had a motherfucking Facebook rant where I was hot. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my driver's license suspended. I ain't gonna lie, I was behind $13,000. Rightfully so. Suspend my shit. But I knocked that shit down to $1,300 in three years. I'm down to $1,300. So I'm like, I called people, I'm like, so what's the process of you tell us to get my driver's license then? So I go get me a passport. I'm going to be a passport, bro. Fuck it. I've been on travel. I, uh, how many consecutive payments? So the lady looked at my shit and told me like, well maybe they can understand it early since you knocked down so fast in such a amount of time. So uh, are they gonna call you and see? I didn't say I call and see how many consecutive payments they could have told me that I'd have been done. It was six, six months, six months, right? So I the lady called, like I called to see what up with, cause you know. They said maybe I get my driver's license then uh us suspended early because I knocked it out so fast I ain't number down to thirteen hundred dollars. This bitch had a a certain attitude, like judgmental, like <laughs> well um but you can pay such and such for five months. So, why she told me you was gonna call me and say I is a potential to get my my um job license early. If that's how she could have just told me six months, cause if I pay what I'm supposed to pay, it don't take time. so it make no point. I was gonna be done before this six months time. You no point having this conversation, even talking to you. She said, "Wait, well, you should have just paid. You, you should have just paid your child support." To I'm like, but damn bitch, you can't see in that computer that up to this point it was no problem me paying my child support. Why, why, not, why ain't the question is like, what happened in your life that is so different that you ain't paying right now instead of judging me as if I'm a deadbeat? Why bitch you ain't judge me for the first eleven years of her life and not the last three? This show that I'm at, at, at while I'm paying child support, I'm raising another dog. Does, does that motherfucking computer show you that bitch? Next, a, a father call. Don't just assume he a deadbeat and give him this motherfucking attitude. Like, see that that bro, you have no idea from this time child support court. I'm gonna talk about child support when I go live. The child support court, I was so. So defeated, bro. How they call your name and line you up on the wall like you all dead beasts, like you all like niggas. I'm we gonna line you up on the stage, actually. It come up here and tell everybody how much you owe. This bitch just got me up here because she mad. Y'all on the list. We got documentation. That shit didn't matter. She signed her name. I'm mean, giving her money. That man, because she thought she, she was going to get more. Facts. Yeah, to call her. I haven't been seeing you, though. No. Yeah, yeah I, I know. Um, I was meaning I was going to get you soon. I just was trying to you know, find a pick up. A nice time and for you know things you know like I told you last time we spoke we split different round. Difficult. Around, you know, why? Know, why is it difficult? Know. Explain to your daughter why. See, and then when, I, when she got difficult with me, I went to my baby. I'm like, man, bro, say, bro, you think you take me out child support, man? Cause I'm, I'm going through some shit right. Now. Niggas don't know I did that too. I went to her direct. I'm like, man, for real, I pay you what I can when I can, but this shit. Like, this threat of jail is fucking me. You know I'm a good person. Let's be honest. You know I'm a good man. You know I'm a good father. But let's, let's get past every time I try to appeal to her. Even when the lack before me and my daughter stopped talking. I tried to appeal to her as a mother. Me as a dude. That who I really am. Not this imaginary monster that she made me out to be. 
because she angry. Remember the dude who I really am. I never put my hands on you. I ain't never cheated on you. I fucking help you raise your other kids, baby girl. Come on, bro. Don't do this to me because you just been angry and bitter. Don't turn your daughter against me, bro. Don't do this. Now, I'm asking you for help. You told me once before that you love my daughter like, like I love her. Now, I'm telling you, man, take me out your house, poor bro, and I got you. I got you. So I admit, bro, some part of me got so angry, I stopped. I stopped. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I'm just not catching up. I'm like, man, I quit. That's why I'm talking about that mental health, bro. That That's when that depression is. I'm kind of getting emotional right now thinking about this. I just want to thank all the people who... Uh, See, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really scared to show up my emotions, cause I beat the nigga ass up. But I want that, you know. I think about the niggas who really help. That's when I get emotional. I appreciate y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. Like my last baby mama could have like ripped my ass to shreds. When it comes to my head. Woo. See, man. Take on these burdens and women. We ain't really taught, really, how to deal with them when the shit don't work out. They say bad shit coming threes, divorce. Job loss, teenage pregnancy. But I fucking pulled through. But let's get back to this shit. This shit really triggered me because I'm telling you, as I'm going through this, like, no hell, like, no quarter. Niggas did hold me down. I ain't gonna lie. But, like, you can't take a time out with child support. Niggas tell me you you're still a bad person, but I wasn't a bad person to let me straight. Years I like. But I'm a better life because I'm going through something emotionally, mentally, and financially. Did he motherfuckers try to break me? But it didn't happen and I let it. And I'm back on my shit. I'm trying to build a child up. Woo! Motherfucker tried to break me. Cost me my child. Corrupted my child. Made my child feel as though I ain't love her. Because of her emotions. Why am I still talking about this shit? Why am I ranting? Why am I so angry? Because I put up with this shit. I don't tell, I don't tell anybody. I don't deal with bullshit from nobody. The only reason I deal with any trauma or drama from any female is because we got some kind of connection. And I'm putting up with this shit because I'm children. I wouldn't put up with this shit if no baby for me. It wouldn't be a thought in my mind. Because you'd be a footnote in the history of King Dial. Let's continue. But this toxic ass shit, this toxic mama. We got pretty emotional. Things are difficult. Child, You're talking uh, to I'm the child. So, uh, we don't speak with each other, so can't I, I'm speaking with her. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You know, you 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 you, you don't comprehend. Like, you don't comprehend. Yeah, you don't comprehend. Yeah, you, don't you don't know how yeah, something. Yeah, your fingers yeah, must be broken because you don't answer yeah, the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom, your mom knows why uh, I haven't seen ex her. No, you you tell her. You tell her because you know exactly what's the reason why. What's the reason why? I'm trying to be an adult. Your mom won't put a, a child in grown-up business. But y'all gonna say he out of pocket. I think this matters. 
Because as a father, it pisses me off to know that my baby mama got some nigga around my kid more than she allowed me to be around. Just because she fucking him. Honestly, because you got some new dick around. And then, you, especially if you got new dick around every other day, I got a problem with that. See, when I was a single father, when I was a bachelor, man, I was a dick slanging champion. But my daughter couldn't tell you to this day. She think I was no, no daddy. No way. Because she didn't see that. She only seen a handful of women. A, hand, a few women. That daddy was around. Other, uh, in, the, in all other occasions. It was some late night. The kids are asleep. You can slide through the back door. I can slide in. Yeah, you go about your business before they wake up. Type shit. Your mom's sleeping with men. Bring all these 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 walking away from the daughter, then who's emotional again? Who's the one who's toxic? Tell me. First, I say, I don't want to talk like this in front of my daughter. I'm going to know why. If she want to tell you, she can tell you. I'll tell her. Because you're a hoe. I don't want my daughter getting this image of hoes. You're talking to me, Bobby. You're talking to me. You're talking to me. Because you, 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 you're using bad language. You are using bad language in front of our child, and you're not right. But you being a hoe in front of our daughter. See, some of them talking about, bro. Of course, I don't care about that. You're not right. You're sick. Why? You're sick. You're not answering the phone for me. You Fuck have you. me blocked. You don't answer the phone for our daughter. You're sick. I don't need to talk to you. Say, I swear to God, bro. First baby mama ain't talked to her in 15 years. Second baby mama ain't talked to her in two hours in, in 10 years. I don't need to talk to you. I, especially if I got direct line with my motherfucking child. I not. <laughs> See, because if I talk to you, you're going you gonna to swear I'm down trying to get in your pants. Baby, I, I, I can't express to you how over this relationship is. So you 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 thinking too much of yourself. Don't get on. If you gonna I still fuck you, but I'm not gonna try to fuck you. Like you literally gotta be buck naked and begging me. I'm not like come on bro. I don't, I don't wanna talk to you. I don't wanna talk to you. Oh. You're sick. You're missing. You're no, you're missing out everything in her life. Violin recital. You're not. You're not there for anything. You can think it She's marching. Marching. You didn't miss parade season. Everything. 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 What happened to you marching with her this year in parade season? Were you there? Oh. You're her dad. You're her dad. You're fucking sick. You're sick. No, you're not taking care of her. The little money you're sitting on child support. The little, the little money. The little, no, the little money. The little money. The little money that she's. I use the money for her, and then some. And then it's not enough. It's not enough. You're not a part of her life. You're not doing anything for her. You're not spending time with her. The only thing she wants to do is spend time with you. How? You, I, wanna, I don't want to be with you. Explain that to your daughter. Explain that to her. Explain that to her. Hey, bitch. We're not arguing. Talk, talk to your sperm donor. This is your sperm donor. That's not your dad. Now, what y'all arguing that I'm confused? What's going on? He's not on because sorry, sorry means you'll never do it again. You'll never do it again. That's what sorry means. Yo. Explain to your daughter why. He don't, he don't love you. He don't love you. That's not love. Say, bro, if y'all can't see 
It's as toxic when I tell you the most abusive people in our community is women. Because they emotionally, verbally, mentally abusive. This lady, I don't fuck, I can't call CPS. You just told my daughter. I don't love her. She gonna have it in her fucking head, bro. Like, that's so fucking wrong, bro. Then you grow up your daughter busting it open for because she looking for daddy love because her toxic ass mama. The man she pay child support. The man say, he, you want to allow her to spend time. She trying to dominate and dictate exactly what I mean, bro. She trying to dictate time. That's what child support court law. She mommy and daddy. Man, this fucked up, bro. Somebody needs to go rescue this baby and send her to her daddy, man. I'm telling you, bro. What old man ain't good. See, mama, mama always been they feelings. They in the present. They don't look into the future. They just they so selfish. They think about themselves. They don't know how this shit gonna affect them kids, bro. In the future, fucking putting uh, low self esteem in your child, and you don't even know it, bro. These bitches be so fucking selfish. It ain't funny. But if court system really cared about the kids, they did this shit. And they'll change. But they ain't gonna change because they want they want our women broken and they want our men in jail. Look, look at my child. This is what she goes through with her. No like sperm donor. Because I moved on with I don't wanna be with him anymore. Yes, they wanna believe it. They're gonna believe it. They're going to believe it. Mm-hmm. They're going to believe it. You're nothing. You're nothing yet. You're pathetic. Full of lies. You're full of bull. You're yeah. full of bull. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't think this right at all. You don't think it's right at all. It's not right because they don't like this. Yeah. She's sick in the head. She's trying to put you in. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm recording you right now. I'm glad you that's posted That's why I'm recording shit. you right now. I'm so glad you posted this shit so the world can tell you how fucking stupid, toxic this bitch is. Please comment. This hoe is toxic, bro. Somebody call CPS. Let this little girl know this not right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm recording you because you're not. He he hung up. That is a a low life. A low life. Call call your sperm donor back. See if he answers the phone. Now he's not answering. He's not answering. No life. No nothing. Be child support. He's saying no money. He's not. He's not. So he blocked my child. He blocked my daughter now. He blocked me. He blocked my daughter. He's nothing. He's a nobody. He doesn't take care of her. Doesn't do anything for her. Doesn't spend time with her. her. It's horrible. Why does she have to go through this? Put your seatbelt on, baby. I'm your mom and your daddy. Don't worry about it. I got you. Nah, you the toxic bitch. You the toxic bitch. That's putting on and low self esteem in your own child head. You so fucking selfish and emotional. You talking about he don't want to get over you. Seem like you the one don't want to get over him. That's what I see. Like how dad she do that baby that how to expose him. How many times I got to tell y'all? Y'all y'all busy trying to expose other people and to make y'all ass look even worse. Baby girl. The, the internet about to speak. You are one of the worst mothers. And I've got experience with this. I have ever seen in my fucking life. Fuck how your kid look. How will the kid eat. How many pads. I know plenty of mamas. House trash. Kids got joined. Kids in and out of trouble. That don't mean shit. With name brand clothes. You can put on your fucking kids. It's all about the fucking character of that goddamn child. And you about to fucking fuck her character up. Because she going to fuck it mentally. You going to fuck her up. And she going to see some fucked up dude. You are mentally abusing your child. You are emotionally abusing your child. 
even if you got issues with the father, you are supposed to be a responsible adult and keep that shit to yourself. Man, I done let my emotions out enough on the video. Hit that like, subscribe, come part of the video.